Hi everyone, welcome back for week two of the um, Panacea um, Root Chakra Meditation, uh, which is the Neurographica artwork. And we had started this one last week on Tuesday. So this is the episode two, and if you did not um, watch that one from last week, this will be a follow-up and a continuation of that. So um, as you can see, I already have a partially started artwork in front of me, so you'll definitely need to go back and watch that. So this will be a continuation of that. So we are going to continue. We already have our shapes drawn. Um, the next step in the Neurographica art is um, the neuro lines. So the neuro lines are um, kind of reminiscent of like the neurons um, that are that are kind of you know in the the um, <laughs> I cannot speak and think today. Um, the nerves kind of and and a lot of times you'll see these kind of lines um, in like medical things. Um, so it, it's kind of reminiscent of that. Um, so this is actually the part that kind of starts to rewire our brain and the issues that we're trying to address here. So the main rules for drawing these, these are kind of, um, they're like little rampant lines. So it's, it's not a straight line at all. Um, and you'll kind of see me drawing them the main rules for drawing these are, first of all, you want to keep your arm off the paper as you're drawing them so that they're supposed to be erratic looking. They're supposed to be pretty jagged lines. Um, so you want to actually keep your, your whole arm off the paper and elevated off of the paper um, when you're doing this. And if you notice, I'm actually going to take my hair tie off of my hand too so that that doesn't accidentally kind of brush the paper as I'm doing this. Um, so that is one of the definite rules. The other rule is that, um, because it's a rewiring of the brain, if your instinct is to go up, then you need to actually force your hand to go down. If your instinct is to actually draw up, then you, whatever I said, <laughs> Um, I have pretty bad ADHD, so sometimes that quickly it goes out of my brain to realize what it was that I actually just said. Um, whatever the reverse is, you get the you get vice versa. Um, so if your brain tells you to go up, go down. If your brain tells you to go down, go up. Um, so you want to draw these lines very slowly so that you can be aware of the processes that are going on in your brain. Um, so that it can be an actual guided practice. It can be very deliberate, um, very intentional. So again, to make sure that you have your journal that you had started working with last time. Um, you don't wanna interrupt the process of while you're in the middle of drawing a line, you do wanna con continue and finish drawing a specific line. But after you've drawn one line, if a thought pops into your head, as you are involved in that meditation, then if you have some kind of realization about something, especially because it's a rewiring and you're, you know, forcing your, your hand to go one way or another, then definitely journal that right within that moment. Um, so if you see me as I'm doing this, taking that time, last time I kind of wrote in my journal afterwards because I was setting my intentions with these shapes, um, if I do have that thought, I'm actually going to take that time right in that moment to write in my journal. Um, so please bear with me with that because I don't want to lose that moment. Because as you saw, I had <laughs> an ADHD breakdown just in trying to express my thoughts. Um, so I definitely don't want to lose my thoughts because this is an active artwork that I'm actually um, trying to complete uh, with, with a specific intention as well. Um, so when it comes to drawing the neural lines, you can do one of two things. As I said, um, with a marker, you can have the, um, fine tip or the thicker tip. I've done them both ways. Um, because the topic that I'm working with here is something that's been, um, something that's kind of really harder for me to break. Um, I'm going to go with the thicker lines this time. I might do a couple thinner lines because some of these are a little bit. Um, less uh, 
in, you know, less, lesser than others as far as stubbornness. Um, but the, the, the larger lines that I go through, um, I, I'm going to use the thicker tip. So you definitely want to go from one side of the paper all the way to the other. And then you can also go from one topic, like start right within, like at the edge of one of the circles or something, and then go, you know, one way or another, like go from here just to the edge of the paper or go from here down, um, go from here, you know, up. Um, so you can do some smaller lines, but definitely um, for a lot of continuity and longer lines, do go from one side of the paper all the way to the other with some of these lines, okay? So let's go ahead and start with, with our lines, okay? And I'm going to get quiet and kind of um, allow the music, I'll kind of um, let this music kind of get a little bit louder, I'll turn it up a little bit. It's the last time I noticed after listening to the video that the, the music wasn't as loud as I thought it was. So since I'm going to get a little bit quieter um, and you can kind of also watch as I'm doing these neural lines and make sure that yours look kind of the way that mine do, you know, to make sure that you're doing it right. Um, I'm gonna turn this music up a little bit for some meditative.
So as you can see, there are all the neural lines that I drew. So the next step is something that is called rounding out the edges. So this is where we take any sharp edges that appear, and I'm not going to do all of this on camera. I'm going to kind of give you an idea because this will take way, way too long, and you definitely um, can kind of do this on your own as well. Um, but I'm going to show you the basic idea in this video, and then you can kind of do this on your own between now and the next video, um, which would be next Tuesday, hopefully, <laughs> as long as I don't wind up getting too busy. Um, so what you are going to do, um, and for this one, I'm going to use the smaller, the smaller, um, finer tip, um, unless I, I don't like the way that it looks. So anywhere where there is a jagged edge, um, anywhere where the lines meet each other, so where it kind of crisscrosses, anywhere where you have something that crisscrosses. So let's say like up, up in here. See where it kind of like creates a little X? You're going to draw these little rounded edges. So I'll show you, I'll do, I'll do one right here. I'm actually going to put my glasses on because this becomes a little bit more um, intricate work so I can see things a little bit better. I'll do a couple of them so you can kind of see. It's basically like you're drawing almost like, like a little indentation, like a little U on either side of them in between. So I kind of did them right in here. So see how I kind of did these little where the X's meet? And I did these little U shapes. Kind of makes it look like almost like a little X with like an hourglass. It almost makes them look like little hourglass shapes. Okay, so you kind of do, it's like a little curved line. Okay, so that's called rounding and you round out all the edges. So if you want to start on like one side of the paper and just see, so anywhere where the neural lines meet the, um, your shapes, you want to do it. Um, so you want to do it kind of like where it's not the wider edge of the meeting of things. It's kind of like the smaller, um, the smaller edges of things. So like right here, we'll do one right here. I'll do a few of them and kind of show you. So this, this process is probably the most tedious part of all of it. And if you have any squares or rectangles, you want to do a little rounding in each corner. So this will kind of show you a little bit better. So see how I did? It's like that kind of a little line. Okay, and I started to do all of them right in here. Okay? So you can do all of those. And you need to do that all the way throughout the whole artwork. Okay? So this is the, like I said, the most tedious part because the whole point of this is that anywhere where you're trying to, where you had the jagged edges, that's where you kind of made a, a change of decision. And now you're kind of rounding things out in your mind. You're um, softening those thoughts. You're softening the... Um, you're softening the lines kind of between your thought processes, you're integrating. Integrating is kind of a good good word for that. Um, you're integrating your old thought process and your new thought process, the old way and the new way, um, so that you're making a smoother psychological transition. Um, so as you can see, it kind of like really starts to take on a different appearance in the spots where I started to do the rounded edges. You can already start to see a little bit of a difference just in the actual artwork itself. So take the time, um, kind of in a meditative trance too, while you're doing all of that. 
um, to the artwork because as you can see there's a lot of different places um, where you know it creates kind of those jagged meetings those jagged edges where everything meets so it'll take some time um, so go ahead and do that um, in between the meetings and within the next week and then next week we will start to do a little bit more fun part with adding of the color so i hope to see you back next week and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful week bye